How's it going everybody? Neil from Chits Creek here. Today we got the wheels off the trailer because we're going to install these bad boys. That hangs right there. On top of that we also got the shackle kit to upgrade the stock shackles. And when I get them off of there, I'll show you side by side what they look like. But uh, step one, get the vehicle jacked up and secured. You don't want to be hanging around under here with no wheels on it, have something go wrong. So that's where we're at for starters. I'm going to start uh, taking these bolts off here and we'll touch base in a little bit and see how it's going. So, I'll get a picture of it too, I think, but uh, there's a difference in the size of these shackles. That's quite the difference there, huh? Not only that, but these upgraded ones are greasable. It's a heck of a difference there. So there you go. Proof is in the pudding. This is definitely an upgrade. And of course it's pretty obvious to see what the difference is between these two pieces here. I mean, holy cow. The heavier duty or more expensive trailers come with these already on them. When you're a cheapskate like me, they don't give you any frills, so you got to add them yourself. I don't mind a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears to get this done. So I'm going to start putting this back together. We'll take care of the other side, and we'll touch back with you. All right, we got road armor installed and shackles installed. One thing I noticed when taking this apart, uh, this is a 2022 camper, and we bought it brand new. Like, the day it came from the factory, we went and inspected, signed our papers. On the leaf springs, there's supposed to be nylon bushings in there. I planned on just running the shackle kit with the greasable bolts and just running the nylon bushings for now and getting the brass bushing inserts for later. One of my spring packs on the end didn't have a nylon bushing at all. From the factory. Everybody that's surprised, raise your hand. Make sure you jack the trailer properly. Make sure you support your axles properly. Otherwise, the kit's installed. I think the road armor kit looks pretty BA. So, I'm going to call it a win. I would just recommend when you pull the trigger and you go through this and you pay for this don't skimp just buy the brass bushings and be done with the whole thing take it all apart once and be done with it be happy because jacking it up at my campsite was a bit of a challenge but we got through it Chits Creek here. It's a little bit later in the season now, <clears throat> but I wanted to do the closing video for the road armor video so I can get this done. Since I installed the road armor by Lippert, uh, we took the camper on a, it was about 3,700 mile trip to Disney World, uh, Fort Wilderness Campground. Pretty epic, pretty awesome campground, pretty awesome trip. Definitely noticed a huge difference in the ride quality with the trailer behind me. And honestly, after 
What I noticed during disassembly and just the sheer common sense of it, I'll never have another camper trailer without road armor and the wet bolts and bronze bushings. No more of this nylon junk. Uh, that's a stupid idea in my opinion, right from the get go. So if you have one of the lower end entry level trailers like I do, a Grey Wolf, um, look into upgrading from the nylon to the bronze bushings and look into upgrading your shackle kit and your road armor by Lipper. And I'll, I'll have all the links and everything below, but uh, definitely look into it, look into upgrading and do yourself a huge favor. It's worth the investment. And hey, you just up the resale value when you're ready to sell it, so. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching Chits Creek. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video and we'll see you guys on the next one.